The Lupino del Gigante, also known as Cane Luvin, is a rare Italian dog breed with wolf-like appearance and lively, loyal and docile temperament. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Lupino del Gigante. I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Lupino del Gigante and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out. Links are in description. The Lupino del Gigante is a breed with well-developed muscles, but which has quite athletic body with strong back and long legs, deep chest and well-sprung ribs. The average height of Leuven is between 48 to 62 cm, which is 19 to 24 inches, and weight is usually between 20 to 30 kg, which is 44 to 66 pounds. Females are naturally slightly smaller than males. This breed has a relatively small almond shaped eyes that are typically in brown color, but they can also have blue eyes and they can show heterochromia, which means that each eye is in different color. The Lupino del Gigante can be found in two coat varieties, short and long haired. Both coats are very dense. The short coat has rough texture and woolly undercoat. The long haired variety can have normal or bearded face. The breed can be in any possible color or color combination, but the most common color is the classic wolf gray on different shades of brown, reddish, copper, gray and black. The main utilization of Lupino del Gigante is working with livestock and they were used for this purpose for a long time, which formed their personality. To be good herders and livestock protectors, the breed must be smart but also independent, quite lively, alert to its surroundings, loyal to the shepherd and determined to its work, and Lupino del Gigante is just like that. These dogs are also good adapts for personal protection or just as companions. And they can make excellent companion dogs for active families who will take their dog on daily outdoor walks, hikes or jogs. The Lupino del Gigante is amazing playful and affectionate companion that creates a very strong bond with its owners. They can live with kids in the family, but of course, you should never leave any dog breed with a very young child unsupervised. The Leuven dog can also live with other dogs in the family and they can be socialized with other household pets as well. These dogs have rather high energy level and it is extremely important to exercise them every single day, so they do not become bored and possibly develop some unwanted behavior, such as destruction. Thanks to their intelligence and lively spirit, they can compete in various dog sports, such as agility. Dog sports, task-oriented playtimes or fun training sessions are excellent way how to deal with the dog's physical but also mental needs. The exact origin and ancestry of Lupino del Gigante is unclear, as it is very old and ancient dog breed. There are several theories about the breed's origin. One says that it is direct descendant of a primitive lupoid that lived in Sacchia Valley, Reggio Emilia. A genetic study from 2018 shows that Lupino del Gigante shares the same ancestry with other European herding dogs, such as Berger Picard, German Shepherd and other Italian herding breeds, such as Bergamasco, Cane Paratore, Pastore di Europa or Pastore della Lacinia e de la Gurai. This old ancestor was some kind of a common European herding dog, broadly distributed over the Europe. For centuries, the Leuven was used to work with livestock in Italian mountains, especially in the Reggio Emilia province. But with the decline of farming, the popularity of Leuven declined a lot. With the income of foreign breeds, many remaining Lupino del Gigante dogs were crossbred with these new dogs, such as German Shepherd or Belgium Shepherd, which is a reason why Leuven almost became extinct in the 20th century, and it is extremely hard to find a pure Leuven dog these days. During these days one man, Christian Ieli, found approximately 30 pure specimens of Lupino del Gigante, which he used to recover the breed. Luckily the breed survived and an association has been created, which is looking to preserve the breed and increase its popularity and purity once again. 
No matter if the Louvin has short or long coat, it does shed some deal and regular brushing is always beneficial to remove loose hair and dirt from the coat. It will also remove any tangles or mats from the long coat and keep it in best possible condition. No other grooming needs are necessary. Just like with any other breed, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. There are no scientific studies about the breed's health, but it seems that this is a rather healthy dog with no linked genetic health issues. Of course, they may suffer from some health problems just like any other breed in the world, and those may include allergies and infections, some joint problems like hip dysplasia or some eye problems, but none of those is extremely common within this breed. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Lupino del Gigante and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.